This is Dabu 7. Some cities should get ready to see a shortage of supplies simply because they have allowed their leadership to not only take away funding for them, but funding for other areas like police departments here, like we've heard of in Minnesota. People say, okay, you're going to defund this, but what are you going to replace it with? Is there going to be anyone in the neighborhood that protects the people, you know, like it should have been? People took an oath to serve and protect the people, not the beast. You see, people are concerned, and rightfully so. And we have truck drivers now stepping up. This is off of CDLLife.com, where a lot of truck drivers go. People go to talk about things connected to CDL drivers, over-the-road drivers and stuff like that. And this is very interesting because a lot of these guys, like 77 to 79% here, saying they will not deliver to cities that are defunding police departments. This is big. This is a poll that they ran on their own site. Over 1,200 people responding. And all of them saying pretty much the same thing in terms of those that had a response saying that we already have a dicey job. We go into some rough areas as it is. Some go on to say that they're treated like trash just for having to pull over and get something to eat or use the bathroom. And they are carrying all the product across this country. They are the lifeline, so to speak. You shut down the trucking, everything comes to a halt. We've always said that. And they're saying they will not go into some of these cities, like Minneapolis, if they defund the police department. So if they want to take away the money and have no security, this is what these guys are saying they're going to do, guys and gals. So it's just another repercussion that you're going to see. Maybe then, when cities, people are sitting there and they're allowing their like in Chicago, Lightfoot, to rep the NWO and to do all these things and strip your freedoms. Maybe when you stop getting goods delivered to your town, you'll rise up and you'll, you'll take care of the criminal factions that are controlling you. I mean, what is it going to take? Because the line is being drawn in the sand. And to simply put, some areas are not going to be seeing supplies from here on out because people are not going to deliver them. Because they feel like there's no security there and they do not want to go into one of those areas and put their life in danger and who knows as crazy as things are if they had to defend themselves and and defend their life and they killed someone in defense they could end up in jail as crazy as all the stuff goes so they're not wanting to have anything of it so the people on the ground you better realize what's coming at you fast much love to all the truckers out there and everyone out there rocking it righteously love all y'all